up people uh mike here and this is uncharted the lost legacy uh crushing difficulty walkthrough this is chapter three homecoming um and this is uh the point in the game where they start to really start to ease you into the combat um and uh the uh Not really exploration of the game, um, but they get you familiar with driving the jeep since uh, chapter 4 is, uh, I want to say the largest level in the Uncharted games because I feel like it's about equal with, uh, with uh, Madagascar in Uncharted. Actually no, I think Madagascar might actually be the bigger level. Than, than this one, but it's certainly one of the biggest levels, um, just in the non-linearness. It's linear and non-linear at the same time, since you do have specific uh, areas that you need, that you need to go to to progress the story. But then you can also just do all these little like side areas, and um, there's random little mini camps of soldiers uh occasionally and hey look flamingo convention but um they throw you into like a little tiny firefight when you get to the first door you need to open up and then at the end of the chapter they throw you into fairly big firefight um, that I was gonna attempt the stealth and I kinda like fucked it up and I somehow managed to get through it on my first attempt um, which you'll see is amazing considering how close I I came to actually dying um, but once you put the the hook on here you then get jumped by five guys um, don't worry about the two guys on the ground because Nadine just fucks them up. Uh, you need to just focus on the guys above and that guy will always throw that grenade. He, that is like the one consistent thing of that fight is that he will always throw that grenade at you. Um, I know this because on my first time through because I wasn't expecting to get jumped by a bunch of guys um, I like ran out in the open and I just ended up getting punched and shot at the same time and I just died so when the checkpoint reloaded and I went again um, that guy threw the grenade exactly the same time as he did the first time um, but uh And uh, don't go this way because I ended up just going in a circle. Um, I kind of ended up getting lost because I was confusing this part with the driving area in Chapter 4. And I was misremembering locations. So... But, um, once you get up here, um, this is just, you know, like I said, just really getting you familiar with, um, driving the Jeep if, uh, you maybe hadn't played Uncharted 4, just so you had an idea of, like, how the driving was, um, and, uh, I kind of <laughs> fucked up here, I went too far left when I was trying to go up this little mud hill um, and uh, unlike with Uncharted 4 um, the only time you use uh, the the winch at the front of the Jeep is uh, when you need to open those doors but um, this is the giant firefight area um, I was initially 
gonna try and go stealth with this. Um, this is me forgetting that crushing doesn't have the the marking that the game has on all the lower difficulties. So, but I end up getting spotted here because I was gonna try and like stealth this guy, and I was gonna try and get to the the vehicle that's at the waterfall, but. Um, that first guy spotted me, so at this point, he's just, you know, full on guns blazing and just hope I don't die. And, um, thankfully, where I am right now, uh, pretty safe. Um, right now, Nadine is on the left side, just, you know, covering my ass. Um, and, uh,. So, like, right here, like, how I'm not dead is a miracle. Um, and then just that dead body just falls, like, right with me. Um, so, this is really just a, a, an example of, you know, just getting really fucking lucky. Um, and, uh... I forget if I really went into it in Uncharted 4, but I felt like some of the firefight areas were unnecessarily harder than they should have been. Like, it felt like you were taking way more damage, like, really quickly compared to the previous games. So I feel like, I think they toned it down, not necessarily too much, but I feel like they, they made it more manageable for crushing um because i always felt like with uncharted 1 2 and 3 the difficulty was just right without it being too easy but not being like overly hard and i feel like with 4 they kind of went a little a little higher than they should have at at some of the points um as an example of, you know, in that guide, you know, like I said, I had to use infinite ammo for three sections because of how difficult it was. Um, and that moment back there when I ran up on that guy to melee kill him, like, I should have been dead, but I wasn't. So, that was just one of those times of, I got really lucky. And then another example of me trying to maintain the stealth that I got back, I managed to fuck it up and get caught by that guy. Um, and I believe the the wave of enemies that comes by the, the waterfall, I believe they spawned in. Um, I completely forgot about those guys so I was getting shot in the back and I didn't know where the fuck they were coming from but when you take out the the main group of guys um, where I was standing uh, there's a I think it's like four or five guys spawn in and uh, you have to deal with them and Again, you know, just getting very lucky and not dying. But, um... More than likely, the very last guy is, uh... This guy that's up here. He never comes down from there. Um, he always just stays right up there. So... Once you kill him, um... You know you're in the clear because Nadine will be like... Um... That's it or that's all of them or something like that. Uh... Run around and, you know, pick up whatever ammo you can, whatever guns you have, you want, whatever has the most ammo. And then you just climb up here and open this, this door and uh, we'll be moving on to uh, chapter 4.
the shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. 